Hello everyone and welcome to Network Labs. Today in this video, we will continue the configuration of NAT in a MicroTIC router. We will configure NAT and manipulate the traffic based on destination IP addresses. LAN 1 network takes ISP1 as default gateway to all the destination routes. LAN 2 takes ISP1 as gateway to specific destination routes like Google and Facebook. LAN 2 takes ISP2 as default gateway to other destination routes. To achieve our task, follow the steps below. IP addresses are pre-configured to save time. First step, configure basic NAT for both LAN 1 and LAN 2. Connect to the router using Winbox. Go to IP, then Firewall. Add new NAT rule. In general tab, choose chain as source NAT, then input the source address. First network is LAN 1. In action tab, choose masquerade. Type a comment for description. Click apply, then OK. Repeat the configuration for LAN 2. Next step, configure default static route towards ISP2. Click IP, then routes. Add new route. Input the gateway. Then select ping for check gateway and the distance is 1. Routing table is main. Input a comment, then OK. Third step. Configure a default static route with routing mark for ISP1. Add new route, then input the required details. Here, in version 7, we can see that the routing mark is now routing table, and we can only see that main or default routing table. To add new routing table, open the terminal of the router. Type routing table, then add. Set the name, then enter. Go back to route list and add new route. The gateway is ISP1. Click the distance and choose 1 for the value. Enable ping on the check gateway. Choose the routing mark or routing table. This route will be the path for LAN 2 to the specific destination address. Before we proceed, make sure that the router can reach the Internet.
Next, define and configure the destination address or prefix in an address list. First, let us resolve the domain names to their respective IP address. Just do a ping for now and later on, we will use NS Lookup. Click IP, then Firewall. Go to Address List, then add New Firewall Address List. Type the desired list name. On the address, input the destination IP. Here, we use a slash 24 network, but any specific IP address or domain is accepted. Repeat the configuration on the other IP prefixes. Next step, configure Mangle rule for LAN2 using the destination address list. Under Firewall, go to Mangle, then add new rule. On the Action tab, choose Mark Routing for the action. Then select the routing mark. As we can see, only the main routing table appears even though we have already created a new routing table. In Microtik Router OS version 7, we need to add the word FIB after the new routing table. Going back to the new Mangle rule, we can now detect the new routing mark or table after adding it. Choose the new routing table, then go to General tab. Choose the chain as pre-routing. The source address is LAN2 network. Then input the created destination address list for LAN2 via WAN1. Let us go back to the routing table and add the new routing mark. Edit the default route facing ISP1 and choose the routing table. To avoid confusion, let us delete first the first routing table. Next, configure new NAT rule with ISP1 or WAN1 as the out interface. Choose the chain as source NAT. Then the out interface is WAN1. Then choose the action as Masquerade.
Now let us go to the laptop and test the configuration. First, let us test the LAN 1 network if the traffic takes ISP1. On the router, bind the bridge for LAN 1 to the interface facing the laptop. Renew the laptop network interface to make sure that it will obtain from LAN 1. Conduct a tracer route to any IP address and see the result. We can see that the traffic of LAN 1 exits ISP2. Let us troubleshoot and correct the configuration. On the root list, the default is via ISP2. This is why the traffic of LAN 1 takes this path. To force the traffic of LAN 1 to take ISP1, go to the firewall and add new mangle rule. Copy and edit the existing mangle. Remove the destination address list. Then, the source address is LAN 1 network. The same routing mark is used. Now, let us go back to the laptop and test again. LAN 1 network now takes ISP 1. The same result to the other destination address. Let us proceed to LAN 2. Bind the bridge for LAN 2 network to the interface facing the laptop. Renew the network interface of the laptop to obtain an IP from LAN 2 network. Then conduct tracer route to the IP address configured on the address list. First destination is 8.8.8.8. .8 Using LAN 2 network, the traffic takes ISP1 as desired. Now let us do NS lookup to resolve and add the new network address of Google and Facebook in the address list. First let us take Google.com. The traffic now takes ISP1 going to Google. Next is Facebook.com. The traffic also take ISP1 going to Facebook upon adding on the address list. Forcing the LAN 2 network to take ISP1 towards the specific destination addresses are successful. Let us check if going to other IP addresses that are not included in the address list will take the default route which is ISP2.
LAN2 network takes ISP2 as the primary route going to other destination address. With this, our task is successful in forcing the default exit route of LAN2 network to specific destination address via ISP1. I hope that this is informative to you and thank you for watching.